It looks like females on average have slightly more friends than men, since I can see that this median line is slightly higher. That's what this black line is. It represents the median or the middle 50% of friend counts for females and for males. Now, this difference isn't very large, so let's zoom in to take a closer look. This box for females and this box for males represents the middle 50% of values in our sample. So I think it makes sense that we zoom in even more to take a closer look. We should consider any values less than 250. Now, there's no exact choice here. I'm just choosing something that seems reasonable since the bulk of my data is down here. After running this code, we can now see that the bulk of user friend count is similar for the middle 50% of men as it is for the middle 50% of women. It's just our females are slightly higher for friend count. Let's look at actual values though and compare the values to what we see in our box plot. We can look at those values by using the by command and running a summary over friend count split by gender. So first I want to include the friend count, which is the variable I want a summary of. I want to split it over gender, and I want a summary. Running this code, I get an output of my table, which shows me the minimum maximum values for both genders, as well as the quartiles. The first quartile for women is 37, and that looks about right in our graph. The third quartile, or the 75% mark, is at 244, and that's all the way up here. This means that 75% of female users have friend counts below 244. Or another way to say this is that 25% of female users have more than 244 friends. Similarly, for the men, we can see how the first quartiles and the third quartiles match up to the box plot. Now, you might have remembered that we used chord Cartesian in the solution video from before. We did this so that way the table output would match our box plots. If we would have just used the ylim parameter inside of qplot, we would have gotten different quantiles that wouldn't match our picture. This is just a subtle difference that you should be aware of when working in R. Now it's your turn to answer a different question. On average, who initiated more friendships in our sample? Was it men or was it women? Use some of the techniques that we just covered and then write a few sentences explaining how you came up with your answer. This second question won't be automatically graded, but it's important that you know how to communicate your analysis to other people.